But fundamentally, Richard, how tight is the market? Well, you know, the, the market is not necessarily so tight this year. In fact, we would be expecting some months where we're seeing a surplus of crude in the market. Um, if, if, of course, the Russian flows remain, and of course, any interruption to them would be, would, would, would be problematic. Uh, but still, it's all about the starting point, to be honest. Inventories are very, very low, uh, and that's a problem. Uh, so we have low crude stocks around the world. We have also have very low diesel stocks around the world. And, and that's very important. While it, it may not get as much focus as, as, uh, as crude oil, uh, diesel is the engine of the global economy. So when you have low diesel stocks, this is particularly problematic. So I think that's why we are so focused on supply, because the, 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 current, the current inventory is, is probably a bare minimum. Um, and if we did see some interruptions, then the market easily has the potential to go quite higher. Richard, Iran talks. What's your uh, basis, uh, base, uh, baseline assumption for uh, the outcome and when Iranian oil could return to global markets and in what quantities? Again, I would say it is not possible to say when. Um, obviously, overnight, we have heard this announcement from Russia that they have written guarantees. I guess I would like to know who they got these written guarantees from, uh, because I don't believe that there will be any sidestepping of the current sanctions that have been put in place against Russia in order to get this Iranian deal over the line. So I'm not sure if those, those reassurances are coming from the Iranians or, or the Americans, but clearly I, I still think this has some way to go. So, but, but, you know, last week it looked like it was very much, uh, you know, it was very very much a, a done deal and that we should see the, the, the barrels coming back into the market. And um, I, I would say in terms of the timing of uh, the Iranian crew uh, coming back into the market, I think you could see a lot of crude come very quickly because Iran actually has a quite, quite a high level of uh, crude oil in inventory that it could quickly ship into the market. And then it would take a few months before we would see probably right. another million barrels. Richard, if oil does uh, snap back again above $100 a barrel, then o OPEC Plus, to what degree are they actually restricted by their mandate, whereby they need approval from uh, Russia for any production increases? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think if OPEC Plus were to increase right now, this would mean, uh, sorry, if OPEC countries were to increase right now, this would probably mean an end to the OPEC Plus alliance, because I don't believe Russia would be in favor of that. And it would, of course, say that your political allegiance are maybe to the Western countries. So I think that would be a breakdown. So uh, I think that's difficult to see. And yeah, I, I can't imagine Russia would, would be in favor of it. Uh, right now, we see OPEC and OPEC Plus sticking to their plans.